Hi everyone, today we are going to be doing uh, the Hope Poster tutorial that I was talking about the other day on my last GMake tutorial. This is another GMake tutorial. This is um, the filter that I skipped over the other day. We're going to be making this uh, Hope Poster to the right over here. This is just another one that I made. Um, I've made a bunch of them, but these are uh, some of the two that I like and some of the two that uh, I could I can't release the photos but I could give you links to the photos so we're gonna go ahead and go over to the browser real quick and I just googled hope posters and as you can tell there's a bunch of them here and um, I don't know what programs they were made with but they're cool and um, I got Alien Paul here from the movie Paul. I thought it was funny. I was going to do one on him, but I couldn't find any that uh, were released under Creative Commons. So I decided to go the other route and uh, get one from DeviantArt. This is by Charlegal Stock. And if you download her image, um, I don't think you could use it commercially unless you ask this person. Um, but they want you to go ahead and give you, give them a shout out and stuff for using the image. So here's their shout out through the video. All right, let's hop back over here to, um, GIMP, if I can find it. There it is. And here's the poster that we are going to go ahead and make. And it's a pretty easy process. To do it so I'm just gonna go up to file and I'm gonna open the image if I could find it that's not the image it's this one alrighty so the first thing we are gonna go ahead and do we're gonna downsize this image by half but we're not gonna do it yet so we're gonna right click on this image and we're gonna add an alpha channel and then we're going to go down here and we're going to duplicate that. And then we are going to create a new layer. So click on the new layer button and go ahead and make a new layer. Then we're going to go over here and grab our clone brush tool. And we are going to click on this, uh, the layer below, the model layer. We could go ahead and turn this bottom one off. Uh, it's just there for if we need it. Actually, we'll go ahead and delete it. And we'll just have this image. So we're going to zoom in here all the way. And we're going to take care of some of these blemishes. So I'm going to go ahead and hold control and click. So we're on control and clicking. And I have the brush that I'm using is a hardness of 0 0.50. So it comes with GIMP. Go ahead and grab that brush. Now we're going to go ahead and click on the new layer that we created. And we're just going to go ahead and click in here and get rid of that blemish. And we're going to click on the bottom image again. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to go ahead and control click here. And then click on our new image. Or I mean our new layer, sorry. And go ahead and get rid of that blemish. And then we're going to go ahead and lower the brush size. Something smaller, that's fine. And we're going to go about here and control and click. And we're going to go ahead and click on the new layer and then go ahead and what's going on here. Control click, click on new layer. There we go. Hmm. I don't know what that was about. And get rid of that. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down. And there's another blemish down here. Go ahead and click, and we're just going to go about right here, and control click, and then click on our new layer, and just click right over that, and let's go ahead and get rid of that blemish. Actually, I'm going to control Z that all the way out, and I'm going to raise the brush size, and we're going to control click on the image again. And then just click over that, just like that. And that's a little dark, but that's okay. I just wanted to get rid of that blemish. 
because uh, the filter that we're going to be using, it goes based off of all these the shapes and stuff you can find in the image. So we're just going to go ahead and right click on the top layer and we're going to go ahead and merge it down. just like that and we the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our pass tool and we're just gonna trace around her body and her hair you don't have to be perfect doing this the only thing that I suggest you be perfect on is kind of around her shoulders where it bends right here and the hair you don't have to be perfect on at all just around her shoulders around these bends so let's go ahead and come in here and I'm going to zoom in. I'm zooming in with my mouse wheel, by the way. You could hold down control and use your mouse wheel. Or you could go into edit and then your preferences. And then go into your... Where is it at? Ain't it funny? I got to show you guys something. I don't even remember where I did it at. Um, your input devices. And then click on configure extended input. No, that's wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, click on input controllers and then double click on your main mouse. And then go to where you um, see the scroll up and double click on it. Cancel that out. Scroll up right here. Just to scroll up. Sorry. And double click on it and then where it says zoom in you don't want the plus the one with the magnifying glass the plus you want the other one that looks like a mouse and just click on that press ok and then go down to where you see scroll down and do the same and then you will no longer have to worry about holding control and then you can just use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out and another way to do it if you don't want to do that is hold down shift and then click the plus key on your keyboard or the minus and that will zoom you in and zoom you out all right so let's go ahead and come in here and just kind of follow around this and just click and if you got to make a bend just click hold and drag just control Z that if you need to make a bend And I use the pass tool because I can get more precise curves instead of using the um, free select tool. The free select tool is good for some things, but when you're trying to be more precise, the pass tool is always better. So I'm just going to go around here and show you up to the hair. And the hair you don't have to be perfect on. You just go around it. And I'm zoomed in pretty far, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit, just so I can go around this a little bit. Easier and faster. And I will probably speed up the rest of this process or totally cut it out, but this is all I'm doing. All right, when you get to the bottom, normally you would shoot right over here, but we're not going to do that. And I will show you why here in just a few minutes. So we're just going to go around the outside of this, just like this. And we're going to zoom way out here. That way we can make faster selections and then zoom all the way in and hold down control and click on that point and connect it. And then we're going to go up to edit. I mean, sorry, select and then from path. And then we are going to go ahead and hit delete on our keyboard. And then grab our move tool to get rid of that path. And then hold down control shift A to deselect. And as you can tell, I wasn't perfect on here. Um, you don't have to be perfect because that filter will take care of most of this for us. The next thing we're going to do is grab our crop tool. And then just drag it all the way over to the edge here. 
and then this edge here we're going to try to kind of give it the same space that this edge on the right here has just like that and go ahead and hit enter to resize that just like that and we are going to go ahead and go to filters and we're going to go to gmic now and we're going to go into artistic and go all the way down until you find the hope poster and i'm just going to go ahead and drag these sides out a little bit and drag this down instead of going to maximize i have my uh second computer screen on today and for some reason when I hit maximize it goes all the way over to the next screen so we're gonna just do it like this and just drag until we see her face right here and you could play with the gamma if you want the gamma if you move it up it just moves the colors and stuff around the image and and uh, moves the little lines the little textures and stuff around and we can go ahead and try it like that if we'd like. And I'm just going to move the softness up just a tad bit. And then I'm going to go down to output mode. And then I'm going to go to new layers. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of GMIC. And we moved the gamma up too high. I do not like the way this turned out. I mean it could be a cool look. But I do not like this look. And um, so we're going to go ahead and just delete this and we're going to go back into GMIC again. So we're going to go filters, GMIC, and then go back to the hope poster and I'm going to go ahead and hit reset. So and as you can tell we moved the gamma and it moved the colors around and the textures or that little line texture it has in it in there. Um, and I did just you move it up too far and it makes the colors not look like a hope poster I want more red and that dark blue in there so I'm just gonna leave it at default here and I'm not gonna mess with the smoothness or nothing and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit apply and hopefully my computer don't freeze I thought it was going to that that last time because I have so many programs running but okay I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply now alrighty that's done and that looks a whole whole lot better to me I really like that the default settings are pretty cool and when I zoom out you guys can't see the lines but when I zoom in you, you can see that they're there so the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we are gonna go ahead and click on that top layer and then we're gonna go to image and then go to canvas size and we are gonna go ahead and go down to the height and we're gonna make this bottom one 2604 now the size might may vary on yours um, oops let's reset so my, my height on here is 2304 so I'm gonna raise it up by 300 pixels on mine so just raise yours up 300 pixels to on um, whatever size you have yours so we're gonna go 2604 and let's see is that gonna be enough that don't look like enough let's go 2804 there we go I like that better and I'm gonna go ahead and click on resize I'm not gonna move this image at all if you move move it in here and you click resize that's where the image is gonna end up and I want it to stay the same I want it to be right like that so I'm just gonna hit resize just like that so we have a little gap under there and I'm gonna go ahead and right click and layer to image size right click layer to image size then we're gonna go over here to our paths area and if you don't have that click on this little um, backwards YouTube looking thing here and go down to add tab and then click on where's it at pass and then you will we'll get this little dialog box and we're just going to click here, right click, and then go path to selection. And then we're going to go back over here to our layers. And we're going to click on our new Hope poster layer. Right click, and we're going to add an alpha channel. And then we're just going to hit delete on our keyboard. Just like that. Press Control Shift A to deselect the selection. Don't worry about this part down here. We're going to fix that. 
So I really like the way this turned out. Let's see how it looks over here. This turned out pretty good. I really like the way that it did it. All right. So the next thing we are going to go ahead and do is the background. So we're going to go ahead and make a new layer. And we can call this BG for background. Press Enter. And we're going to go up here to View. And we're going to go to Show Rulers. You could use Shift, Control, R on your keyboard if you like. That's if you don't have your ruler showing. And then I'm just going to come and click in this ruler area here and just grab and drag out and I should have zoomed out so while holding my mouse down I'm going to use my middle mouse button and I'm going to zoom out so I can see here and we just want to kind of eyeball this in the middle here let's see something like that looks middle-ish to me. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is grab our rectangular select tool and make sure you go in the view and make sure uh, you got where's that snap to guides selected and that means your selections and stuff will snap to your guides so we're just gonna go ahead and drag out and we're gonna zoom way in here that way we can see and have more better control over our selection and make sure it snaps to that guide and then the next thing we are going to do is we're going to click on our color picker here. And I already got the red color chose. So it's D00117. Press OK. And we're just going to grab the red and then drag and drop it. And then we're going to grab our move tool. And then we are going to come over here. And you got three selections here. You got your layer your um, selection and then your path we're going to click on selection and then we're going to just go over here and we're going to click on the image once we're going to hold down shift and use our right mouse button i mean our right mouse button our right arrow key on the keyboard to drag this over and then i'm going to undo shift and i am going to just use my mouse wheel and this selection is all messed up so we could go and press shift T and then come over here and make sure we choose on selection and where did that little box go we'll just press shift T again and now we are gonna just drag this selection out just like that and press scale and that way it scales out your selection and then we are going to go ahead and grab our color picker tool and then we're going to click on our hope poster image and then we're going to grab this blue here then come back up to our background layer and I'll just click on this blue so you guys can see the color it's 5A 8D 91 press OK then we're going to grab this color and just drag and drop it press control shift A to deselect and grab our move tool and then uh, click back on the layer and then hold down shift and then grab your layer guide and just drag it off to space over there to get it out of the way then we're going to drag this behind and so we got a pretty nice looking background going on there the next thing we're going to do is click on our hope poster layer and make a new layer and we could call this uh, dark blue dark blue border just like that and let's click on our color picker tool and we're going to choose this dark blue color here it's 00202F press OK grab our rectangular select tool and drag out a rectangular selection let's drag it down some let's zoom way in here so we have better control over our selection and that's fine if we overlap that a little bit let's grab this dark color and drop it matter of fact I'm gonna grab the color picker tool and then I'm gonna click on our hope poster layer and I'm gonna click on this dark blue here and make sure that we have the right color yep same color okay alrighty press control shift a to deselect hmm and that's still 
not big enough down there for me. So I'm going to go to image and then go back to canvas size then go back to height. And let's just make this 3000. And then press resize. Yeah, that looks good to me. And then we'll just go and right click on the hope layer and go to layer to image size. Right click layer to image size. Right click layer to image size. Just make sure they're all layer to image size. And then let's grab our rectangular select tool. Sorry about this guys. I just thought it was enough earlier, but it's not. So I've just made a, another selection over that to make that bottom area down there bigger. Press control shift A. And that looks a lot better to me. So and most of it's done. Um, we just got a couple of other things to do and we'll be getting it going there. So we're going to go back and tick on that light blue color again and then we're going to grab our text tool and we're going to go ahead and grab this font called where is it? Uh, it's called Chap Parel Pro Bold just like that and let's just click anywhere on the image and then type out in all capitals hope and then let's just highlight this and let's raise the size up if you guys don't have this you can raise the size up over here also and let's go ahead and raise the size up just a little bit more click on our move tool and let's just kind of line this up in the middle here just like that is fine with me okay let's create a new layer and let's call this path or let's name it red path and let's grab that red color again press ok let's click on our paintbrush tool and let's make sure that we have kind of a small size on our brush settings that's fine with me let's grab our path tool and then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna click and then click again and hold it down and then drag and then click and drag and then click and drag just like that and now we're gonna go up to edit and we're gonna go to stroke path and we're going to click on stroke with paint tool and then click on stroke and then let's grab our move tool to get rid of that path and let's drag this red path layer down below the hope layer let's click on the hope text layer and right click and then alpha to selection and then let's press control I and then let's click on the red path layer and then let's grab our paint paintbrush tool and then let's have a black color Press OK, right click on the red path layer and then add a layer mask, white full opacity. And then let's raise our brush size a little bit here. And then let's just go through here and let's erase where this line comes through the text here. Let's erase it right here. Just like that looks good to me alrighty press control shift a to deselect and let's go ahead and make sure we're still on our layer mask let's grab our rectangular select tool and let's just drag out a selection over here grab the black drag and drop it let's make a rectangular selection right here grab the black and drop it control shift a to deselect I just wanted them edges to be a little bit hard and let's go ahead and make a new layer and let's name this stars press OK let's grab that light blue color again press OK and then with GIMP it default uh, installs with the star and let's click on our paintbrush tool and let's make this star about mm,
about 85 pixels will be fine and let's just click there and click there just like that and then let's make one more layer and let's just name this uh, line and then let's grab our rectangular selection and let's drag out a line it's kinda just before this edge and let's zoom in here so we could grab this handle just before that edge, just before that edge. And then let's, with our blue color, let's go ahead and drag and drop our blue color on there. Let's press Control Shift A to deselect. Let's press M on our keyboard for the move tool. Let's click once. And then let's drag this line down just a little bit with our down arrow button. Hmm. Let's grab our rectangular select tool and let's cut a little bit off of this end here. Just a little bit. And let's just hit delete. Press Control Shift A to deselect. That looks good to me. Now let's go above everything on the hope text layer and let's make a new layer and let's make, name this um, outline. And let's click on our color picker and we're going to choose this uh, off white yellowish white it's e f e 9 c 9 press ok let's just drag and drop it over the whole thing let's press control a to select everything let's go up to select and then shrink and then we're going to shrink it by 25 pixels press not 253 25 uh-oh i think my gimp froze Let's cancel that and let's control Z that. Let's go to select, shrink. I said 25, not 253. All right, now let's press OK. Hmm. Let's control Z that one more time. And I forgot because this image is bigger, I need to make that outline bigger. So I'm going to shrink it by 45 pixels. Press OK. And then I'm just going to hit delete. Press Control Shift A to deselect. And there you go. You got a pretty cool looking Hope poster. That looks pretty freaking awesome. And we didn't have to do too much. And the filter is not hard to understand or explain. Um, the only thing I might have done a little bit different with this one was put the blue on this side because there's more blue in her hair over here and put the red and then that way you could kind of see the outline better of her hair but besides that I think it turned out awesome and you could do whatever lettering or whatever you want down here this was just uh, something because it's a hope poster so I put hope down there I put on one of the ones that I made uh, the truth lies within bliss I think that's pretty cool and um, this one uh, I don't know I like it but the face didn't turn out too well this is one of the ones where I was playing around too much with the gamma but I like the lettering <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why I showed this one um, but it did turn out pretty good and like I said you just got to be careful uh, how much you play around with that gamma because it can frustrate you because you're not getting the right looking results. But for a plugin, this is one of the better plugins in GMake. I think I really like this plugin uh, because I really like this type of imaging. And it would be a pain um, to do this by hand. So I'm glad somebody out there was nice enough to make a filter for this because back before there was filters, you did have to do it by hand. and you don't have to do it 
by hand no more unless you want some precise details. And I was going to go ahead and do that with this filter and make precise details and stuff like that. But the result is pretty awesome by itself. So I hope this was a cool tutorial for you guys and you learned a little bit. And I hope you guys can make some cool stuff. Also, um, you could leave a link uh, showing me your image in the comments below, or you could go to my website and I have a comment section on my website. Um, you might be able to catch me on the on my website a lot faster than you can on YouTube. Uh, but either way, it's fine. If you guys want to show some of your results, go ahead and do that. Or you could show your results in the GIMP users uh, uh, Google Plus group. And I will see it there. I get on that group quite frequently. So, alrighty. I'm going to quit rambling on now. Please like and subscribe for tons more tutorials. And have a great day. Thank you.